Every angler loves to have an in with a weather person. And on this world of saltwater fishing, albeit beautiful Hawks Cay in the fabulous Florida Keys with meteorologist Amanda Holly from WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa, and I'll be taking her reef fishing. George Vovaromo's world of saltwater fishing. Big fish don't stand a chance. Weather forecasters, they're really, in the fishing world, the people you really love to hate. How many times do you hear people complain, and face it, including yourself, that you get a decent weather forecast only to head offshore and find out that it's totally wrong? Well, we definitely need weather forecasters. They do their part. And on this episode, it's the first time that I've ever had the opportunity to fish with a meteorologist. In fact, her name is Amanda Holly and she's at WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa. I, I grew up in Florida, so I went through all the summertime thunderstorms. I went through Hurricane Charlie, that 04, 05 season. Uh, I was terrified of weather as a kid, actually. It was summertime thunderstorm and it was tornadoing to me. <laughs> there was gonna be a tornado, and so I was actually terrified of it. But in college, I was getting my engineering degree and uh, was doing weather on the side for fun in the journalism school and one day the chief there just threw me on on the green screen and said get up there go do it and um i actually kind of liked it so i reached out to her and our first few conversations i said i just knew that she would be a perfect guest and my eyes lit up i was so excited to see the message from george Povarobo. i grew up watching him uh it was an instant yes to be able to come fishing with him when we come to the florida keys we catch so many different types of fish, the yellowtail snappers, we catch mahi, we catch tuna on the humps, you know, you control for wahoo. It's just a totally different fishery over here and you don't have to go as far, right? <laughs> uh, it's also extremely beautiful. It's just, it, you're on island time here and we do love it. We try and come here as much as we possibly can. So we set forth, I had brought a bunch of chum, we had live pilchards, we had live goggle eyes, we had uh, squid, uh, the array of dead baits actually. So we decided to go find a good piece of reef, found a good piece of bottom, roughly between 60, 70 feet of water, uh, looked really good and you could see yellow tails down tight to the bottom on the Simrad. So we throw the hook, we get situated put a block of chum into the bag, hang it overboard, and now it's just a matter of waiting to bring up these yellowtail. And the trick, the basic trick with yellowtail fishing is that you want your bait to mimic the size of the chum particles that are coming out of the chum bag, and you want that bait to drift back at the same exact rate as the chum to fool these fish into taking it. I can't remember if it happened to be Amanda or myself, but the first fish that was caught was a bonita. And we brought that in the boat because that is one of the best yellowtail baits. So we cut a slab off the bonita, cut it into very small squares, and then we started to bait with the pieces of bonita. And by the time that we were starting to free line back, I'm looking down in that water and you see these yellow balls slowly coming up from the bottom and here they come. George is stealing all the fish. <laughs> I'm just trying to be courteous and bring some yellowtail home for you. Yeah, someone's got to. I mean, They're here. if I don't, you gotta get on your uh, TV station and during the uh, weather report say bad things about me. So. <laughs> he took me out and caught all, <laughs> all himself. Wow, that is a gigantic yellowtail. <laughs> And I just chew up that leader, so I have to shorten the leader here too. So I'm wondering, oh, there, there you go. Huh? <laughs> Shall I pop the champagne? <laughs> there we go. All right. Nice. That's what I like to see. The lighter leader did the trick. 
All right, now you got to figure it out. They're up there eating out of a chum bag, and they'll go down, they'll come back up. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, just a light leader, let it flow back with the chum. That's it. Well, let's measure them, just make sure yeah. we're, we're legal to take them home. And I'm not bragging, but I know my, mine's bigger than yours, so it's definitely yes, legal. Yes, it is, but yes, we're good. We're over 14 on Okay, this one. I'll open up the box for you. And we'll put them right on this section right over on the here. Ice. Yes. All right. Beautiful thing. Well, you know what? I will do it. Get in there and do it more. Yeah, let's do it. Here they are. The tails are here. You can look at the Sam Red machine and you could see those fish. Once the chum started going out and broadcasting through the zone, you could see the markings of these yellowtail coming up on the Sib Red, raising higher in the water column. And when I saw that, and then a few minutes later saw the balls of yellowtail rising, I said at this point in time, I knew it was gonna be a matter of time before we were into the tails fast and furiously. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. Mako, you'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. George, we'll be right back. I'm with Amanda Hawley, meteorologist with WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa, and we have the yellowtails in our chum slick. We're fishing at a Hawks Cay Resort in the fabulous Florida Keys. And speaking of Hawks Cay, accommodations include rooms, suites, penthouse suites, and like where we stay in Dock the Mark 6, waterside villas. There are five resort pools, a beach, tennis courts, spa and fitness center, kayak and paddleboard rentals, charter fishing and sightseeing boats, and a boat ramp and trailer storage. On property restaurants include Angler and Ale, where we dined after fishing. Hawks Cay Resort now is a standalone Papa's Pilar Rum Bar, where I caught up with Pilar Rum founder, Steve Groff. So the bar just showed up, right? <laughs> and it's, it's incredible. So it's an homage to us and our brand, and it's awesome. And one of the most amazing Hawks Cay attractions is their dolphin connection. More on this later. Now, let's get back to the fishing. So the trick was hardly any current, and you want to get these fish feeding. So we would work those baits and we'd get them down through the water column. And one thing I'm learning about her on this trip She's an amazingly fast learner, picks up things so rapidly. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a yellow tail. Look at that. Get in. in the boat. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I'm digging hard on you. He's got some heft to him. Take him easy. We have really light leader on. You're, you're doing really a small hook. Outstanding job. And He's here comes the boat. The we got Gorgeous color. yellowtail. Oh yeah, beautiful yellowtail there. <laughs> if he's really big, you don't want to flip him. You know, I got a, I have a net. It's up to you. Yeah, look at a pro. There we go awesome. in the boat. That's a bigger one. Yes, it is. Yeah, that may be challenging for the uh, big one so far the trip, maybe. <laughs> so far. Oh yeah, he's big. Wow. Yeah, come to the boat. Again, bigger. There we go. <laughs> Got a wiggle. Coming to the boat. Oh. The suspense. Oh, he's swimming to the boat. Glad to swimming see you. There he is. Another, another yellow tail. Come on. Nope. There we go. Well, look at that. <laughs> Never gets old. In the rat hole. Come down here, get the big schools of yellowtail coming up. But everyone is, is totally excited. You're, you're just like a bunch of kids again. You ready? Nice. Incoming. Okay. Right. Well, let's have tail of the tape. Okay. Oh. Double header. Very nice. Nice tails. Now, one thing about Amanda, she has a sense of humor. And on our boat, we practice what we like to call tough love, where we sort of poke fun at our friends and just have fun. It's It just makes the day enjoyable. 
and Amanda picked right up on that. And of course, there were the fumbles on the boat. The yellowtail fumble. Wait, so yellowtail just pops up against it's that uh, peach nice or coral and background. Right. Oh. Look at that. Perfect you get, you're getting all the breaks. It even gets off the hook for you. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, people have a little luck. Oh, no. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Uh, in a football game, I think that's called a fumble, right? No, I caught it in the boat. We're good. All right, good. Go. Well, make sure the right team ends up with that fumble. Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. There we go. That yellowtail, man. He got on the gunnel, and I went for him and went for him and went for him, and I was not letting that yellowtail go out of the boat. I was determined, but uh, it wasn't a fumble because I got him in the boat. <laughs> We didn't let him go, and uh, he, he ended up getting in the box, but that was that was a pretty funny one. Yellowtail snapper are arguably the most popular bottom fish throughout the Florida Keys. Although they can be caught on the Gulf wrecks and rocks, on out to the deep Atlantic wrecks, that Atlantic belt of reef line between 60 and 80 feet is generally the most productive. Best bet, free line tiny bits of cut bait on a number one circle hook or a 1 16th ounce jig within the chum flow, minus any hesitation. Leaders no heavier than 12 pound test get the best results. In artbypasta.com from catch to canvas rendering. Catch the canvas, baby. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Simrad, for those who never settle. Rapala holds the world record for world records. Suffix, always use the best line. Starbright, clean and protect with Starbright. George, we'll be right back. Meteorologist Amanda Holly and I are working over the yellowtails off Hawks Cay Resort in the Florida Keys. And with all this life behind the boat, it was only a matter of time before the mackerel crashed the party. So we were yellowtailing and a, a fun bycatch of, of yellowtail. Sometimes the mackerel will show up and shoot through the bait, shoot through the yellowtail. Um, and we had a couple of fish that hooked up and had a nice run to them. We knew it wasn't a yellowtail, so we put a live pilchard on. And they, they took it immediately. They liked it, but we ended up having to switch over to a wire leader because they, they broke us off pretty quickly a few times. We threw it out there, had a little bit of a slow troll. They wanted a little bit of a movement to that, uh, to that pilchard. But that did the trick, and we threw it out there a couple of times, got him, hooked him up. Drag. That was good. Good drag. That's okay? Yeah. I'll tell you a little more. There he, there he is. Nice and easy. You probably have to get him near the surface. He's okay because we have him on a, a wire. No more little spin around here. In the net. Hey, look at that. That's so fun. That's a tough cereal. <laughs> Here, you want to hold them here? Sure. Here. <laughs> Make a danger jump. <laughs> so, hit, grab him there. There he is. I got excited just watching this. I know. Well, you hear the rod, the, the line go out, you know. It's just always a fun fight. Gotcha. Okay, okay, in the boat. Quality cereal mackerel. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, you think you manage to hang on when you get to the box? <laughs> he doesn't want to go there. <laughs> I'm going to stay out of your way. All right, let's see if I can one hand it. In the box. You're, you're a pro. Let's see, here's the leader. That keep coming though. You still got it 40 feet. Keep whining, 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 whining. Here it comes. I mean, you got yourself, uh, 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 it's actually a big mackerel. It's a big mackerel. <laughs> uh, look at this. I'm going to just flip this one in. Big mackerel and a Still goggle super eye. Super fun. Uh, yeah, well, a goggle well, eye. Uh, I'm going to see if I can flip them and keep them on there. Ooh, that's, right, that's a kingfish. Small king. Oh, look at that. Just another species. Is that above. fourth or fifth species today? It, it's somewhere in there. And in the mix, uh, Amanda catches a juvenile king, bring the king in, let it go, and she's back in the game, either catching yellowtails or cereal mackerel. And I had rigged a goggle eye and floated that thing way back behind the boat in the chum slick, and boom, that thing got hit. 
I can move out. Oh, where is it? Oh, wow, oh look it's it. a big king. Hang big on to him. Oh. Hang on. I'll get a gaff. Let him go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hang on. Next round of Veronica. Hang on. Here. You got him? Nice. And it started smoking off, and she was on the rod, fought the fish in, and it was a king mackerel. George's Tackle Locker. The Slam series of custom fish cleaning tables by Killer Dock are impressive in appearance, exceptionally functional, inviting to work at, and with a wind rating of 150 miles an hour, durable enough to withstand the harshest marine environments. Killer Dock offers four Slam series models ranging from a four and one half foot canopy and cleaning table version, where one to two people can easily clean fish, to a top of the line model based on a seven and one half foot cleaning table and canopy that can easily accommodate up to three people. Constructed from marine grade aluminum with anti-corrosion clear coating, SLAM models come with King Starbird, LED lighting, two host stations and accessory trays, complete with knife sharpeners and cup holders. Your choice of table drain, canvas color, and mounting hardware is also included. The available add-ons for the SLAMs include fish hanger, sink, drawers, and drain manifolds. Manufactured in Alabama, Killer Dock ships nationwide. Check them out at KillerDock.com. Mercury Performance Stats, Hawks K, Florida Keys. Seas, one to two feet. Power, triple Mercury Verado V10 400 horsepower outboards. Props, Mercury Revolution X 25 inch pitch. Total miles, 43. Consistent cruise, 5,200 RPMs. Speed, 55 miles per hour on average. Total fuel burn, 45 gallons. George, we'll be right back. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum. Never a spectator. VMC. You're expert in hooks. Art by Pasta. Real life art. Visit artbypasta.com. After limiting out on yellowtails and keeping a few mackerel, we pulled anchor and headed back to the barn. Being a sport that she is, Amanda poured a round of Papa's Pilar rum and then star brighted the Mark VI. She then got ready to partake in the Hawks Cay Dolphin Connection. After a 15 minute briefing, Amanda headed out to the main area and into the Dolphin Lagoon. There's more. It was stone crab season during her visit. Therefore, we just had to take Amanda to Keys Fisheries and nearby Marathon for, you guessed it, a stone crab feast, Florida Keys style. Stone crab claws are all on the table. They were gigantic, and uh, you didn't even need you didn't need anything to eat with them. They were they were absolutely absolutely phenomenal. In fact, they have a big stone crab eating contest that they do annually to kick off the stone crab season. And from what I understand, it's a uh, really hotly contested uh, event where you get a set amount of time and these people go out eating stone crabs to see who could be the top dog. Now, I don't know how they feel afterwards, but I gotta bet you that during the whole process to down as many stone crab claws as you can, that'd be pretty, pretty rewarding. <laughs> How's that for a perfect weather forecast? Speaking of weather forecasts, I was invited to WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa where Amanda gave me a behind the scenes tour and then had me as a guest on her TV news segment, Real Talk. I guess, first of all, I'm just super appreciative uh, and excited for this opportunity. It really was exciting to get George's message uh, on social media and asked me to be one of his guest anglers on his show. And I was so excited and it was pretty much everything that I, I wanted it to be. And I imagined, you know, going out fishing and, uh, you know, on the Mark 6, we we went out on the, on the, on the reef and 
we caught tons of fish. I mean, it was it was an awesome day. And besides the fish catching, you know, you're, George is just a, a, a great person to be around too. You know, he's funny, he's down to earth. And um, I'm very appreciative for the opportunity and something that certainly I'll, I will never forget. So I'm very grateful for the contact that I made with Amanda, her being a meteorologist. So next time I want a really good weather forecast when it's time to go fishing and nobody else is giving me a good forecast, I have her number, I'm gonna call and she'll make sure I get a super good forecast and hopefully calm seas. If you wanna keep track of our fishing adventures, we welcome you to follow us on our social media. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash George.Poveromo. I'm on Instagram at George Poveromo. And you can see our shows in 4K broadcast quality on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is George Poveromo TV. Jump aboard and ride along with us.